Hello everyone, here we are, Portello Cove, hole 5, par 5. And, uh, you know, as most of this tour, the way that you probably want to go about playing it is going to vary from wind to wind. In this situation, you know, I'd really like to get over this way, but it's also going to be, you know, a very challenging shot. Let's take a look at what this looks like. You'll probably want landscape if you're going to go this way, plus 10%, I'm assuming. Um, very full with your top spin. And you're just going to kind of be looking about seven rings over as a land zone, which means I'm going to put about five rings into the rough here. And maybe I'll just come off a little bit, just for a little bit of precision here. And I did catch a great ball, but I'm hoping, you know, with all that landscape, that we can get the ball going over enough to get towards the center. It looks like left-hand side a little bit. Um, getting over here will be, you know, in my opinion, a little bit more favorable. It's going to require, you know, probably a landscape shot. Otherwise, you know, you can you can play those little island hops and go towards that other fairway. I'm sure you're well aware of that other me method. You can see these two dots right here playing off of these fairways with a bump, bump shot into that last fairway. You should be able to, uh, in most winds, not a headwind, um, but in these situations, you know, you should be able to, uh, to do that. And here you'll see... This is going to come in very similar to mine. Just a little bit farther, more set up. What I'll usually do here, there is a little bit uphill nature to this shot. Depending on the wind, it will kind of dictate my elevation. Uh, I'll usually play maybe a minus 5%. Here I'm going to play a plus 5% since it's such a headwind. So just create a little bit of extra. Um, in terms of landing zone, you know, I'm going to try, if at all possible, to not go into power. So you can just see me kind of sizing that shot up. And you can see with what I'm doing with my ball guide offset, 9.9. .9, I'm going to play this very close to maybe about 10.6 rings. I was just kind of trying to estimate um, which would make me, you know, as best as possible not go into overpower. So that's what you could see me doing there. And then offsetting my ball guide. Perfect ball. And let's see if I created enough momentum for this to get there. Looks pretty good. It's just a little bit outside. So not too bad. It's going to come down to those, you know, minor differences that you're going to need. You know, a little bit more offset, for instance. Um... And especially, this is kind of going to be the isolated cases. Anytime that you're using topspin, that's going to be the one instance where Sniper has a better advantage over the uh, Hammerhead. But overall, I do. I would much rather play Hammerhead. my Hammerhead 7. Um, I don't have one on this account. I have uh, Hammerhead 6 that I could play. Um, I do like this play, except for topspin shots. You have very limited guide. So um, you really will have to know the hole very well. Whereas with Sniper, I don't need to know the hole well, and I can just use my ball guide. So those are kind of the two differences between the two clubs. And you can see as my opponent, you know, it doesn't roll out. So without being able to see that ball guide, um, and especially, you know, maybe he played a similar spot and spin, in a tailwind situation or sidewind situation, but into a headwind, you're going to need to alter those spins. So definitely, you know, always be thinking about playing dynamically. Um, every time that you play something, you know, you're going to have to be thinking about these minor changes. As I mentioned, for a base win case, you know, I'll use minus 5% back there in the fairway. But when I get a headwind like that, I know I'm going to need to play extra wind effect. Um, the ball doesn't, you know, land exactly one-to-one -one in headwinds. Um, you know, it, it's going to land a little bit shorter because of that extra wind resistance. But uh, I'm going to split this up, and I'll catch you guys on the shootout. 